iHeartRadio Broadway, driven by Mercedes-Benz. The best or nothing. It's an honor to be at the honoree dinner. It's incredible. It's it, you you grow up loving theater, wanting to be a part of the community, and then suddenly you find yourself at an event like this, and you, you know you. It's scary to actually dream that big, and then when it happens, you realize, yeah, you should dream that big. It's really it's humbling and exciting and. Everything you can, it's every hashtag. This is nice because it's like the special awards and, you know, uh, many of whom I know and they've deserved this kind of honor for a long time. So it's, it's actually kind of moving and lovely for Terrence and Rosemary, you know, all of them. It's, it's just fantastic. I mean, it's, the, it's just such a lovely group of people. Um, it, it, it is an honor to be just in the same room with them. Um, and also today is a work day, so I get to do this event and then I get to go do my show after it. I think we're probably like the only show who has a Monday night show. Well, I'm a huge fan of Judith Light, so anytime you get to honor Judith Light, it's a very special night. She's really one of the most extraordinary people in our business. Um, but also I think there are so many categories um, where we're honoring those parts of the process that maybe the audience doesn't see. Everyone sees the leading actor and the leading actress and celebrates them and we get to come out and accept the applause. But sometimes those people who don't get to come out and accept the applause are even more important to the uh, success of the show. Well, you know, we're all so proud to be nominated here, but it's really about those people who are honored for either their body of work or their lifetime uh, that they've given to this work or advocacy, um, helping other people. I think that uh, when we do this work, we also have a responsibility to kind of um, have an outreach. And so these people have done that double duty uh, and very well. So it's an inspiration for all of us to kind of keep going in that direction. Uh, my dear friend is getting uh, an award tonight. His name is Michael McElroy, and um, I love supporting my friends. Um, I love when good people are getting acknowledged for the work that they do. Um, it's just very important uh, to do that, and, and I love to support my friends, and that's why I'm here. Just celebrating these amazing people who have done so much for the theater. Harold Wheeler is one of my heroes. He's just one of the great Broadway musicians, so I'm excited you know, to see him be honored tonight. Yeah, and, and I'm really touched that they're doing uh, a tribute to Marin Maisie. She was such a beautiful talent. Yeah. It's just a way to formally acknowledge our community and celebrate and say, like, we see you, we honor you, we respect you, and I love that. I'm just filled with so much pride. I'm proud of the work that I've done, but I'm also proud of the work that my colleagues have done. And um, it, it's just a surreal time, and it is a whirlwind. It's a lot of things and, and is a little overwhelming, but it's magical. It's crazy. It has been the learning experience I didn't know I needed. Um, you know, it's it, no one can prepare you for these moments, and it's it's fascinating and wonderful and joyous and overwhelming and scary, um, but it's great. Very inspiring, you know, that, that the community itself is embracing our production, which is very progressive, but uh, reverent to the source material and sort of be a part of a project from the beginning to the end and then to get the icing on the cake with the accolades and things is just truly a, a dream. Particularly with prom, like no other show I've ever, ever been in has I felt the effect on an audience. And I just, it makes me realize how much, how important theater is. And something as quote unquote simple as musical comedy can change lives. And this show is really changing people's lives. So it doesn't get any better than this. Sort of it means every, this is very much a watershed moment for me. It's my first gay character that I get to play on Broadway. And just as a gay man, and especially right now during Pride and the 50th anniversary of Stonewall. And it's been, like you said, truly a world. And I was, I was comparing it to the scariest roller coaster I can remember. You might know this one from Busch Gardens. At first, back in the day, it was the Kumba, right? Or something like that. Uh, but it's like a thrill ride. Uh, my hand's up in the air and I'm screaming. I feel weak, but I'm excited. And uh, yeah, man, we're just, this is going to be a cool week. Uh, it's going to wake up every day, take it a day and a breath at a time. You know, I love the idea that I can just come here tonight and be a guest in honor of all of these amazing artists in our field. And, to, you know, that is happening in a community of our peers and that these are basically the pioneers and the legends that we can look up to and aspire to. That's what this means to me. So I'm, I'm going to be sort of like a, a little sponge absorbing all of what I think is the future potential of what we can be.
I'm just so proud to be a part of this show that Alex Timbers put together and that Anthony and I wrote together. Anthony, you know, who can't be here tonight is like, you know, one of my oldest friends in the world. I met him when I was 14 and just this is the end of that road or, you know, a wide spot in that road is, is you know, kind of makes you feel like you didn't mess something up too badly in your life, I guess. <laughs> For me, it's a really special year uh, because so many of my friends are nominated and winning and um, just experiencing such a great season. Uh, so to be a part of that makes my heart happy and that my work got represented. I didn't, uh, I didn't know that, you know, they would recognize my work at all. And so for it to be represented here tonight is, is a blessing. I keep kind of reminding myself that you can be ridiculously grateful and ridiculously exhausted at the same time. They're not mutually exclusive. And when you say I'm pooped, it's not necessarily like a, what do I want to say, like a grievance. It's just kind of the state of the way things are. But we're living the best of days, we're living the best of times, and we keep reminding ourselves of that. One foot, one outfit after another, one foot in front of the other. And then you come to events like this and you support each other and you get reinvigorated.